All right, guys, front nine here at the Grand in San Diego. Absolutely spectacular golf course. Just warmed up, up by the magnificent clubhouse just behind us here. A golf course that changed tons of terrain as we kind of pan over. We can see the kind of the canyon here, absolutely gorgeous. Lots of topography changes. I think the goal today will be to try and shoot something around par. Uh, the game is not quite there yet. They're not feeling that comfortable. They haven't played much at the back end of the year, so anything around par will feel like a pretty good result. We just need to put it in position. It's not, not long enough to cause us any trouble. Hit it good. Depends. That was a little trusty three wood at its best there. High launch, pretty low spin. It's a little two wood, it really is. That's why I hit this so often off the tee. I think a lot of people think I'm playing conservative when I hit three wood off the tee, but realistically, when I hit this thing well, it's probably like a 280 club off the tee, so it really isn't a conservative play. If I'm playing conservative, it's probably hybrid off the tee or five wood. If there's a hole that just doesn't really fit a driver, I'll take the three wood. We see one cheeky little second shot, and that, that pin is tucked right behind that bunker. All right, guys, 80 yards, a little downhill. I mean, you, you want to think about what the thing you want to do, not the thing you, you don't want to do, but we have to hit this between 80 and 90, not 75 and 80 and end up in that trap. So if I do go a little bit long here, I'm not going to be too worried about it. Should be pretty good. That a boy, right? Okay, I don't think there's much in this, boys. There we go. Good start. Good start. I think 59 watching the front nine could be, that could be a real thing. That's fair. Fairway, green, one putt. More of that. I don't think there's any reason to bring these bunkers in the front. I think we cut it off the bunker. Oh. That feels like the, yep. it kind of feels like the play, just yep. drift it off of that. That was a good one. Easy. We've got 154, downwind but uphill. I 100% couldn't get there with P, but I think if I hit, I hit a nine well, we can get it there. Yeah, just between between the kind of right edge of the green and the, and the flag, just let it bank in. Oh, I blocked it. Hook. Come on. Hit it good, just blocked it. I think it was the right stick. I just blocked it. I, I'm just, all I'm trying to do is have the first bounce land on like a pillow, right? So on the Bermuda, so somewhere up there, the first bounce has to be on there. So kind of trying to, and if I fly it too far, fine. I've kind of got something that's gonna work down and it will swing around. But if I can get a little fancy with it, I might have something that can trickle into like 15 feet, maybe but that would be a worldie. Ah, missed it. But that's second prize, which is okay. Wow, that is just fast. That is so fast. It just snapped past like, the hole. Absolutely. And the wind, if anything, is kind of holding it from going even more. Yeah. Three putts, more three putts. Amazing how one mental mistake, which was to kind of try to get cute and, and kind of play between the edge of the green and the pin. Like, look at that. Look how much green there is. Like, if I put that center of the green, I'm great. If I block it a little bit, I'm good. If I pull it a little bit, I'm good. It banks all back in. Like, everything banks in. But, like, one bad decision. And I hit the second shot really, really good. Just a little face open. Hit the tee shot, great. And you walk off with double. It's crazy. Birdie, double, birdie. That's what we're doing here. I kind of like the same drive as the last. Up that left side. Gosh, that's good. All right, we get... A little choke down five with really unlucky, kind of hit the fairway and I've ended up one foot into the rough here, but we can't get there anyway. So a little choke down five would hit it out towards that bunker, leave ourselves a good number. Yeah, 
that will work. We've got 90 yards, a little bit down wind. I'm kind of right between clubs, but I'm going to try 60. Kind of try and flight it in there. Down, get down. Oh, shoot, spin. Okay, worked out. Hit it about, I mean, probably 10 feet, no, sorry, 10 yards past the flag and ripped it back to here. So, got a little look up the hill, good chance, a ball outside the right. Oh, just didn't move. It stayed, I hit it right where I wanted to. It's another Scott Fawcett, you know, thing like, par's great. Yeah. You know, don't be, don't be, you know, annoyed of making par on a par five or, I would love to have, and I'm going to really try and work on just like a little second serve drive. Yeah. Something that just kind of like peels out quite low. You can kind of feel it, you can stay on top of it yeah. and, you know, just, just flight it out there. Lovely little fade. Nope. Stay. Yeah, I'm very comfortable with driver off the deck. Yeah. Like very comfortable. So like having it that teed up that high wouldn't bother me in the slightest. Yeah, I just wonder if that helps you. Get I think that so. Little, yeah, totally. A little flighty one. Yeah. I think it would. Just help you spin it a little more and just hold it slight. Because that was just like toy and no spin and 191. We've got some wind into the face. It, it's not, to be honest, something I'm even looking at the flag. If I can flight this low enough and catch the front right short part of the green, I'm going to chase this up. So actually, it's like a 170 shot. Thanks, bud. Didn't think we were going to get a chance on, on this one, but we do. Makeable, outside the left, uphill. There we go. Okay, fighting back to level. Double bogey, just derailed the train briefly. Back to level. You know me, I'm a pretty conservative golfer, right? When I'm out here and I see a hole like this, 300 and probably 20 yards, I'm not thinking I have to hit the screen, but I think we have to try today. We're making some birdies. Off the tee's feeling pretty good. I think we have to hit something that chases onto the green. Little bit left. We'll see. Hit it good. I actually hit it pretty good. Just turned a little too much. All right. 64 yards. A little 55 degree wedge. Just chase it back there. Maybe land it 57, 58. All right. We uh, got a little look at this one. Maybe four feet. Not much in it up the hill. There we go. Now we're rolling it. There we go. Just like on greens like this, it just feels like if you leave yourself continuously uphill putts, you can be aggressive and you can build confidence. Playing in the, the when we played the back nine here, it felt like every putt I had was a downhill putt. So you had to always play so defensively, but I think there's so much strategy to always have that uphill or if you can that just gives you the license to be that little bit more aggressive oh, pulley not a good swing not good okay thank you I see that stroke state number on the ledge. I think so. Dang. He's a beauty. Dude, big, big fan base here for Ian Fraser. Absolutely. Today. All the, <laughs> all the big boys are out. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I just caught it. That was the ball flight we talked about, though, by pegging it down. So much. It was good. That kind of like more penetrating. How do you play this shot? I mean, I just... Choke down at all? I choke down a little bit. Choke yeah. down a little bit. I would stand up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Um, and 
you know what it's going to want to do. Yeah. It's going to want to turn a little bit, so. So you take a little more up the right side? Yeah, and just really focus on contact. Above all else, just get that ball first. Oh. I can't believe that never turned more than that. That's too bad. I, can't, I literally could not have picked it any cleaner off the top of it. It just didn't turn as much as I thought it was going to. Level par, two birdies, one double, a really nice save on the drive on par four. Just, that was a, such a shame that ball just trickled down into the hazard, had to take a drop. But like you said, sometimes those sort of par saves from 64 yards are, are the ones that just feel the best. You know, you know that's a real kind of fight and save. Just really want to, I wanted to kind of grind out a, a nice birdie here and see if we can kind of close this 35 or 36. We made it pin high. It's, like, it's not really a, not really a difficult third shot. It really isn't with the pin being on the left side of the green. It's just that Bermuda rough is really, really tricky to judge. If you play out of it regularly, this would be a seven out of like you up and down seven out of ten times. I don't want to talk myself out of it, but if you don't play in this type of rough, I think you get up and down three out of ten times. We've got a little fried egg but it's soft. We just need it to come out in a nice cushion. Soft, soft. I just didn't get it coming out soft enough. Needed to hit 60. That's why probably I should have hit 60, because like if I hit it perfect, it lands in the green and it trickles out. If I hit it if I like decel and don't quite get it, it's fine. It lands soft and then you know has the same rollout. But we've still got a chance on any par three or par four. If I had this for a birdie, I'd be over the moon. A little sneaky downhill left to right. Just let it kind of funnel to the hole, but don't try too hard to get it there. Oh gosh! It's <sighs> Go bad pars. Decent try. That was a really good putt. Yeah. They don't all go in, but that was a good putt. No, it felt like that was the, yeah. the right idea anyway. I hit 55, Josh, but like I wish I hit 60. A little, a little dead hand. Should have just, yeah. yeah. All right, Cody, let's finish strong. We've got par four. It looks like a good strong par four. We'll see what we've got faced with if it's downwind, down, into the wind, but then it looks like we've got a nice short par three. It would be lovely to think we can sneak a birdie out the next two and, uh, and turn in one under par. That would be really, really nice. One mistake, pulling or just pushing that nine iron on hole number two, but kind of rebounded nicely. Didn't, didn't really bother me, to be honest, because as I said, I, I knew I had a pretty good shot. I made a pretty good swing. I just, just ever so slightly blocked it. So uh, one more birdie, at least, that would be lovely. Stay there. Okay, we will find it. All right, we set ourselves up pretty nicely here. We've just just off to the right, but it's, uh, it's in a good spot. We've got 174 uphill. It's probably playing a club more. We're in that kind of perfect time of night where just the wind's died down. It's sun's getting low and shadows are long. It's, it's absolutely perfect out here. Yeah, it's just a nice six. There's just nothing complicated really about this. Should be good. If we pulled the right stick, we're good. Rounded the ball and you think it's just gonna come out so soft. Yeah. And like a few times just up, I've just got all the ball in the club face stuff. It's came out flow and fast. I feel like this one would be a bonus. Good hole, uphill, solid drive, good six iron. It's just a little outside the left. A little seven o'clock putt. That was a bad putt. That was right off the face the whole way. Okay, yep. No, it's a good mantra, Josh. I like it. It could have been a bit better. I mean, silly, silly double like we talked about. A couple of putts like on the last one, just, that was just a bad putt. But let's see if we can just finish with a bit of a bang here. Just didn't turn. I think it has been high, it just, it just didn't kind of turn over. It's funny, sometimes, I've found today with like 
even in the range, I'm kind of like hitting these, expecting to turn it, and they just fly. They just fly so freaking straight. It's, it's, I'm just, I need to get used to that. I'm kind of, I'm so used to hitting the apex and going left. Yeah. All right, Caddy gave me a good stick there. We got it up there, pin high. Like I said, just, just didn't turn a little bit like I thought it would, but it's a good leave. Like, I feel like it's hiding like a little bit of a ridge. Like, I feel like there's like, kind of comes down in here and then it comes up a little bit and it's going to really push it off that. Yeah. Yeah, tricky little putt. All right, guys, so second episode of the Breaking Par series. Really encouraged to shoot level par in the second episode. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking, you know, the first nine holes at two over was about what I kind of thought, you know, something about that again would have been sort of, again, where I'm thinking, but that was a really comfortable level par. There really wasn't any stress at any point with that. Sure, that double was silly and, you know, we, we take that out and it cleans it up into a really nice sort of nine holes. But I think that was really pretty good. A good start and something to build on. And if we can get a little bit tighter with the, the shot control, I think I found a few things off the tee with team down the driver a little bit felt great. The putter felt really, really good. I think I cleaned up some really, really nice putts and, and made a couple ones that are just a bonus to get outside that 10, 15 foot range. So really good start. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Like, subscribe, follow along. I want to hear about your journeys as well. What's your goals? What's your scores? And how are you guys making out on the, the journey to get your handicap down? Let me know. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.